Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? Back today with another quick little video, you know, n nothing too long this time, but I thought I would make a video on basically why these plugins slash hardware are sought after when it comes to vocals. I mean, mixing too, but definitely vocals. Like, these are probably the most three popular plugins slash like hardware reviews that you'll find on the internet. And obviously in every studio, I mean, especially like in 1176, you know, the rooms are definitely going to be filled with like, probably like at least four, like a, at least like a major studio will definitely have at least four. I mean, the studio that I was at for seven years, we had, I think we had three in each room, three to four in each room, at least three. We had some that were older than others. We had some that were newer. We had the original Yuri versions too, um, which was cool. And, um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd make a quick little video on like why these are sought after and we'll, you know, play some vocals through it and then you can hear the difference pretty much and kind of, you know, answer it for yourself and, you know, figure out which one you like. Maybe you're thinking about picking up these plugins or the real gear and hopefully this will help you get a better idea of like what is, I don't know, what suits your needs, I guess. Yeah. And before we get started, uh, if you're new here. Please drop a like, subscribe, share the video, watch it as many times uh, as you want and as you can. Uh, that would help my channel out a lot. And then, you know, any of the gear that I'm using right now, like I said, the Focusrite or my Carbon, um, I will have all the links below to those. And if you buy through those links, I'll get a little kickback. So I appreciate it. But um, yeah, let's get to the video. And then sorry about the background noise. I have my... Uh, window open. I have a little gate on my vocal. Hopefully that will help, but um, it's nice outside. So anyway, so let me play the vocal just dry. I wanted something that you couldn't give. It's so typically me. I just couldn't resist. So close I could taste it. Craving a little hotter heartbreak. <clears throat> so yeah, that's just the, uh, you know, the first part of it. Uh, just the first half, basically. Um, and then let's see. So you know, if you haven't seen it already by the plugin list right here, we have an LA-2A, we have an 1176, uh, specifically uh, the Rev-E, and then we have uh, the TubeTech, which is probably definitely the more popular one out of these. But um, yeah, let's hear the difference. So I'm going to start with the LA-2A. I tried to level match them, you know, by ear as best as possible. I think they're pretty damn close, if not close. Um, so yeah, you know, let me know. Uh, you know, hopefully I did, I did a good job. But here we go. Here's uh, LA-2A. I wanted something that you couldn't give. It's so typically me. I just couldn't resist. So close I could taste it. Craving a little hotter heartbreak. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to bypass it in and out. And you can hear the difference. I wanted something that you couldn't give. It's so typically me. I just couldn't resist. So close I could taste it. Craving a little hotter heartbreak. Yeah, and you know, I'm kind of compressing, you know, just a little bit harder than I would if I were recording on the way in. Just because I was just in the, you know, mindset that um, I was mixing these vocals and this would kind of be, you know, the final vocal sound basically. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can definitely hear the difference. I mean, you know, there's a little bit of level jump, but I think that's also with the attitude and the character that the LA-2A brings. Um, specifically the UA one is probably definitely the best one. Obviously they made it. So I would hope, uh, that they, um, or at least they own the rights to or whatever. Um, but you know, I would hope that, that, you know, they would make a really good plug-in version of their, um, piece of hardware so yeah i mean it definitely remind i mean i've used the la2a hardware plenty of times um to know that the plugin sounds pretty damn close if not exactly the same in my opinion i mean there's just like a spittiness to it i've said this before there's like a little high-end grit that gets added to it um and just the way that it clamps onto the vocals i mean it just sounds so good i mean you can hear it for yourself um it's just like really nice in your face vocals, which sounds really good. Um, let's do 1176 next. 
I wanted something that you couldn't give. It's so typically me. I just couldn't resist. So close I could taste it. Craving a little hotter heartbreak. So same thing. I mean, in your face, very smooth. Um, this one's definitely a little bit less gritty in my opinion. I know people say the blue stripe is definitely grittier than this uh, blackface one, which I agree with. Um, but with this one, it's just kind of it's just kind of compressing. It's just there, and it sounds really good. Um, definitely in your face, kind of similar to the LA two A. Um, let's play with that. Uh, I'll pop it in and out as I play it. I wanted something that you couldn't give. It's so typically me. I just couldn't resist. So close I could taste it. Craving a little hotter heartbreak. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely adding some like, uh, you know, it's enhancing uh, that top end just a little bit too. Kind of similar. I mean, obviously with compression, you know, you're, it's definitely going to get a lot more essier. Um but with this, I think it's just more of like a spittiness in the way that it handles the transients. Um, it's like, I don't know, rounding them off, if that makes sense, uh, a little bit. Um, and kind of making them more prominent at the same time. I don't know. That's what I always think when I uh, think 1176. I'm like, if I really want to enhance transients or kind of smooth them out, this is usually um, the piece of hardware or, you know, plug-in that I'm reaching for. All right, uh, let's do the tube tech next. I wanted something that you couldn't give. It's so typically me. I just couldn't resist. So close I could taste it. Craving a little hotter heartbreak. Yeah, so tube tech, definitely. I mean, obviously you can see that I'm... Uh, tube tech is tough, to be honest. I mean... I've definitely used the Tube Tech probably the most out of it's it's probably the Tube Tech first then the LA two A then Level seventy six as far as like what I would choose to use uh, when I was tracking. Um, I did you know I recorded a lot of hip hop so it was either between uh, the Tube Tech or the LA two A for me. Um, but the Tube Tech, everybody knows the hardware. It's not um, easy to recall. It's not easy to kind of set up. It's very, very touchy. Uh, you know, it's got continuous knobs, so there's no, you know, stepped, um, whatever. You know, the, the knobs aren't stepped, basically, so it's kind of uh, very touchy and, like, hard to kind of get perfect, especially for recall. And they definitely uh, brought that over to the plugin. It's very similar. I mean, the attack and release, it's very, very hard to kind of set you got to like move your mouse just a little bit so you know maybe if you have like a control surface it's a lot easier to set um something like the ssl or like this you know the soft tube obviously they have this uh under their belt so maybe the soft tube um control plug-in controller hardware whatever things that they use or make um it'll probably be a lot easier to set with those kind of things but definitely with the mouse uh it's a little it's a little tough um, but to be honest, like, yeah, this vocal is compressed a little bit more with the tube tech, but I also think that that's kind of part of the thing that I like about it personally. Um, you know, maybe I would lay off the threshold just a little bit. Um, I wanted something that you couldn't give. It's so typically me. I just couldn't resist. So yeah, I mean, even just literally, I moved the threshold like the littlest bit and that made like a huge difference. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm just in the mindset of like, what would a finished vocal sound like with using just these, uh, you know, plug-in compressors. Um, so I'm, that's the mindset I'm in. And, you know, this is definitely kind of probably ballpark of where I would have the settings for this. Um, but the tube tech definitely like very warm, you know, quote unquote warm. It's just really handling that top end and rolling in that top end off nice, which is, definitely going to be part of uh the tubes that are in it because if you've seen a real one you know at least the the cl cl1b the tubes um are exposed uh or not exposed actually but the, i use the cl1a which is what i'm more familiar with which is which is basically literally the supposed to be the same exact compressor it's just that the back is not uh exposed and i think it's not hand wired um that's like the only difference but um there's definitely some nice looking tubes on the back if you've ever seen the inside of one or 
you know, one in real life, basically. But, you know, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of like, I don't know, thick. It's not, that's really what I get from the tube tech. And that's what I hear. Um, and that's what I like the most about it. If I want, you know, like if I have like something like an, a U87, let's say like the classic chain, a U87, like a Neve, or basically the way I like to think about it is a solid state microphone and a solid state preamp. If you want to add some like thickness to it, definitely use something like a tube tech because I feel like, Whatever it's doing uh, is definitely, you know, rounding all that, I would say, like, almost sterile, I guess, because something like a solid state preamp um, and a solid state microphone, because they're so clean, you know, essentially, they're supposed to be clean. Obviously, we all know a Neve or something is not clean, but maybe something like an M1 preamp is really clean um, paired with the U87. So adding something like a tube tech in the chain will definitely kind of um, bring some of that, you know, well, I hate the word, but warmth back to the signal. Um, and, you know, you can say the same thing uh, for the LA-2A, very similar. Um, and the, you know, the 1176 is just spitty, in my opinion. Um, so if you're, if, you know, if you're not looking for something as spitty, I would grab something like the tube tech or the LA-2A. Um but yeah, these are just my opinion. So, you know, let me know if you have real world, real, if you have real world experience uh, with the hardware and let me know if you have similar thoughts uh, to my experience um, or the plugins, if you use them all the time. And if you've switched over from the plugins to the hardware or vice versa, like, do you still feel like, um, you know, you're getting what you need out of it? especially if you're going from hardware to plug-in, like are you still having the same feeling basically? Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments below. I'm going to try a new style, not edit uh, this video. So this is just going straight to YouTube. Um, but anyways, yeah, like I said, um, keep watching my videos, keep subscribing. We're almost at a thousand subscribers and, you know, just like, share and uh, I'll see you next week. Peace.